Okay, so Apple has just released iOS 16.1 developer beta 3, and this is basically clockwork, right? Now, every week we get a new beta for iOS 16.1. Today is beta 3, and of course, in this video, we're gonna go over what's new with the latest iOS 16.1, as we usually like to do here on the channel. So as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now as per usual apple has also updated all their other platforms today so ios 16.1 developer beta 3 has been released today for registered developers by the way public beta testers as usual you'll see this populate onto your device within 24 to 48 hours after the release of this video ipad os 16 beta 10 has now been released as well which is aka 16.1 beta 4 for ipad os and that's expected to be released later in october alongside mac os which by the way it is in beta 9 as of today as well watch os 9.1 developer beta 3 has been released for the apple watch and of course tvos 16.1 developer beta 3 has been released for the apple tv now we know that we have a few new features here within the latest 16.1 if you didn't catch it we have a new dynamic if you will a battery percentage indicator on the status bar live activities is coming with this software we're expecting also apple to at some point enable satellite communications with 16.1 we're hoping that it will be happening here soon within the next beta or so not here as of yet now this beta came in at approximately 700 megabytes that's always going to depend on your device and the beta that you're updating from so expect anywhere from 7 to 800 megabytes to update this one and now the latest build number indicates that we still have a few more betas in the pipeline there it is we have ios 16.1208506e that's going to be the latest bill number for 16.1 on the iphone which indicates we'll still have at least two more betas a release candidate so we can expect this one to be released to the general public most likely towards mid to late october it's what it's looking like maybe with ipad os 16.1 as well mac os ventura 13 of course and of course tvos and watch os as well now let's get to some of the changes here apple is changing quite a bit here in the wallpapers department i do have a previous beta running on this device here so if we go into wallpapers here we now have a new carousel which is super cool with preloaded wallpaper options that you preset on your lock screen you can choose right there you don't have to go directly to your lock screen to set these you can create a new home screen or lock screen directly from here as you can see obviously on previous betas this just was impossible right there it is so a new menu in a carousel shape where you can go ahead and select from the many wallpapers and lock screen setups that you may have directly from the wallpapers categories or simply create your very own now there's also minor changes on the display and brightness here this option now has been renamed to view and if you tap in here of course you can choose larger or smaller text here so display and zoom now is under view options within brightness and display options right there or display and brightness options now there's also some major changes happening to controllers so if you use your controller your xbox or any gaming controller playstation controller on your iPhone, once you connect your controller, you have this really cool option down here, which is now game and controllers. Pretty cool option here, it tells you the battery percentage, the controller that's connected, identify controller, gives you haptic feedback to let you know this is the one that's connected. You also have add additional profiles here for additional controllers, and we can tap into this menu right here, and we now have the option to mess around with the colors on your controller. You also have haptic feedback, you can change right there as well your actual buttons and controls you can change right there share gestures a lot happening here with controller support with 16.1 i really love what apple is doing here now not everything is working perfectly right this is beta but i've been testing this and the haptic feedbacks and things like that are working really nice it's nice to have this entire option devoted and dedicated to external controllers for gaming on the iPhone and iPad OS as well. So yeah, improvements overall within the software. Expect my follow-up video within the next two to three days, right? I'll be digging around the software, try to find additional new features and changes and share those with you guys. I also talk about my battery performance and performance overall on my follow-up videos. So don't forget to subscribe and make sure you stay tuned. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.